LOL, seriously, he's here. Back again for another episode of Permadeath. Uh, what I've done in the since the end of the previous episode is I installed those modules, I handed in all those missions. Uh, I guess I killed a pirate just now, got some uh, overflow of chromatic metal. Uh, so we have all of these installed. I've put in the health one over here with the life support for stacking purposes gonna get that cold one eventually. I went back to the anomaly to get the suit slot that I thought I didn't get, but I got it. I thought I didn't got it, but I got it. Yeah, uh, that's right. I put it right here. Boop. That's where the nutrient processor is. And I remember the thing I forgot to do was figure out where that uh, planet was, because that one we landed on was not the correct one. So uh, there was one that I didn't see way off in the distance and Misty. Misty Planet, that sounds like a Swamp Planet name. I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. It, it has very interesting resources, Copper, Facium, and Cobalt. It, I feel like it should have more than that listed. Uh, no, that was for launch thrusters. Why wouldn't you refuel the thing that's out? That was silly. Come on, you silly refueling computer. Choose the right thing. So, we are going to take a picture of this. We are going, well, if this is the right planet. Uh, we are, well, we're gonna check it out a little bit. These new planets are really cool. I'm super I'm impressed with the differences they've made. I've even increased my graphic settings up to the high setting from the standard setting for planets. Ultra, uh, and it's incredible. It's amazing. If your computer can handle Ultra, put your planets on Ultra. But uh, mine aren't great at Ultra. <laughs> My settings lag a little bit. I get stutters. Uh, worse pop in than this. High is okay. I think it's tolerable. I'm going to check back these videos. Regardless, I'm, I'm publishing them. <laughs> you guys are going to have to suffer through some terrible quality. Oh, this is definitely a marshy planet. I have seen these stumpy uh, cut off trees on marsh worlds and other places. I haven't seen that kind of tree before. Either that's buried in the terrain or it's a new short type of tree. It looks buried in the terrain. Do you think this is a volcano? Mm, I don't see anywhere it would erupt from. I'm pretty sure those are only on fiery planets anyway. Hey, look at that. Look at that. There is a free place to land. And maybe it'll have another S-Class weapon here and I won't forget to reload the game a bunch of times to see what's available. And you'll see after uh, handing in all of those missions and selling off all of the items that they gave me, I am back up to where I was in the money department so I will even be able to afford a new multi-tool if there is a good one here. Which guess what there isn't. Could still be S-Class. No, it's not. It's not S-Class at all. We're doing fairly good on nanites, but let us pick these up anyway. Come on, blue cube. Let me in there. Well, I guess you're just going to have to sit on the table. Hey, that's great. Now I can ask Gex for help. That is an interesting... Uh, Cave? I don't know if you'd call that. <laughs> Alright, well we'll grab a couple more free nanites. I don't want to hand it in yet, I don't want to do a upload this site, but we'll grab the nanites that it gives us and the navigation data. May as well double check our health, because I don't think we'll be back at this exact site ever again. I do like the color of this grass. I've seen teal before. I mean, well, there's no grass here. It's just ground. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, setting it to high and then boosting around makes the pop-in take a while. It is still very sparse, though. But it's a neat color. I've seen bright versions of this on Lush Worlds, but never so dull. Pretty good mountain sizes, too. Nothing too unusual for mountain sizes. I've seen that before. But... Uh, I've seen some people land on some planets, and that is new. There are mountains that reach the sky, valleys that you think you wouldn't you wouldn't think they're possible. 
Oh, neat. There's some neat creatures. I haven't seen anything like that before. Not exactly, at least. What do you got down there? Uh, I've been through on my normal save a little bit, uh, checking my bases, but I haven't really played much of the update. This is a me playing Origins fresh. I have zero experience playing Origins. This is all new to me. I spent a couple seconds scanning some plants and animals because I think I have a couple missions for those. Uh, maybe not animals, but minerals at least. Oh, can you not scan those big new stumpy plants? That sounds familiar. I think I heard somebody say that. I'm not going to forget, the reason we're here is for a pitcher, but let's get some of this nice colored grass in that pitcher. And let's wave for the camera, and there we go, nice pitcher. Zoom out a bit, what do we got? Yeah, that'll do. That's nice. Ooh, yeah, get the creature in the close. And that counted. Great, great. It doesn't mark the planet, but it does mark the system. So that's good to know. Uh, I wonder if it works for the old planets too. Now I have a couple of those missions, at least one other. Take a picture mission, I'm sure. Go into the log. That's done. Return to the mission agent. Oh, I don't. Okay. I thought I had another one. Let's see uh, if that's new for all of the take a picture missions that it highlights them. But uh, we're not going to return to this mission agent. What we're going to do is take off, eh? Sorry to go all Canadian on you. Uh, no, we don't need to pause. Hostile scan. You know what we're going to say to hostile scan? <laughs> we're out of here, buddy. I just killed one of your compatriots and got all of, all of his chromatic metal. Let's find somewhere fun to go. It's going to have to be within a short distance, because we have a bad hyperdrive. But we have an economy scanner, so let's find somewhere. Ooh, emerald drive required. It's worth somewhere with a good economy, and preferably Viking for some extra free nanites every couple of days, if we revisit it. Out of jump range, that's just barely within. I haven't found a single three-star economy yet, let alone a Viking one. And we can also take our space station. Uh, where are we? Yeah, we're right sort of in the middle of everywhere we've been. We could go out to the edge of known space at Minom Door. What's the most recently one? recent one I've discovered was called Q something. I don't see that anywhere. Interesting. Well, maybe we should head to Q something and see where we are. Oh, that's right. I went through a warp gate. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's go to Q something. We're in old territory. All right. Well, I guess we're going to have to kill this guy after all. Put it in reverse. Let him come at me. It's just one? Okay, well, let's charge straight at him then. Oh, no, it was two. Alright, alright. Tight formation flying, I guess. Hey, guys. Okay, return to the mission agent is the marker we're gonna use, but we're just gonna take the teleporter to head to. I don't know, I can't remember. It's QE, there's no U. QE something. That's all I remember. But that's the most recent system I've discovered, so it should have some fresh stars around it, and we should get a, a better look at what's around us than we can go to with our short hyperdrive range. Oh, I guess we'll hand in the mission while we're here. We may as well, because maybe another photography mission available we'll be able to see what uh, what's up with them if they're if, if they've been changed I don't recall that being in the patch notes but yeah, it's a great change yeah it might just be a consequence of them switching over to the 
anomaly teleporter version list. I have used the teleporter in the anomaly quite extensively. I'm sort of used to how it looks and feels, uh, but I've never noticed it tell you your mission locations before. So I think that's new regardless. I'm not the biggest fan of the anomaly teleporter list. I miss the old version. Uh, the new one doesn't tell you what galaxy you're in or what, what galaxy you're going to, but it does give a lot more information like planet type, economy, all of that stuff, your bases that are there. It's, it's, I like it. It's nice, but you know, hand in missions. All right. You know, we might not have even gotten that mission from this system. We probably didn't actually. So uh, he might not have any new missions for us, but he does. Nanites were always going to take that. Uh, these are great because it's not only nanites, but it's always a low-level pirate. Well, unless you get one of the battle versions that we haven't unlocked the rank for yet. Uh, it's always a low-level pirate. Very easy to kill. It's usually just the white. And you don't have to fly out of the space station here to do it. I can go to any number of space stations via the teleporter, via the anomaly. I can ignore the marker in this system and head to a new system and, and kill the pirate there. Uh, you don't need to do this mission immediately, even though as soon as I leave the space station, it will show up. Fortunately, we're not going out of this space station. We're going out of the next one. All right, already grabbed those things up. So, uh, space stations. Kivesto. Kivesto? Kivesto. Uh, let's head there. Kvesto? That would have a Q in it. I don't know how to pronounce these weird, randomly, procedurally generated names. But it is sort of fun to try, I guess. I like the ones that are easily pronounced ones. We landed at Planet Fran the other day. I think it might have been a moon, but that was funny. Radioactive moon named Fran. Alright. Kvesto. What do you got for us, pirate-wise? <sighs> yeah, okay. You know what? Uh, let's get out, make an autosave first of all, because why not? We've made some progress. Let us check here. I know I've gotten that uh, upgrade, but maybe he has a frost module for us. He does. Thank you, sir. We'll take that. We can use that eventually, but let's not waste the suits a lot on that right now, because we can't install it right now. Uh, well, we could, but it would involve... Mm -hmm. You know what? You know what? We have the nanites. Let's do it. Let's start stacking these things even higher. I'm not terrified of permadeath. You're terrified of permadeath. You're not even playing permadeath, so what are you talking about? Not overprotecting. You're overprotecting. Alright, so the way we do that is let's move. Yeah, that'll stack with what we've got over here, I believe. Yeah, boom, that links up. So we can put a shield instead of with these three, uh, with these three, which there aren't three here yet, but there will be. There will be. Okay. Uh, general. Let's break that down. It is worth more to us like that. Quite a bit more actually. One of those Heroxes is worth 25,000. 250 silver is worth 46,000. Uh, always better to do that. Let's get that thing installed. We've got the full set going on here and it's all linked together to the hazard protection unit itself. Uh, that's going to give us the best possible set of bonuses. There might be a better arrangement for these, but I haven't played around and it's hard to test because it doesn't actually tell you anywhere what your total heat resistance is, for example. And it doesn't tell you how long these shields recharge. I would assume putting this in the middle with the four S-classes touching it. Oh, these are out of order. That's, that's not cool. There we go. There we are. We're done. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, yeah, put that in the middle, put the S-Class modules around it, 
we have we have room to try that. I don't know that it's going to make any difference, but from my understanding of how this works, we sort of don't have room to try it without selling some stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, we need a freighter. <laughs> All right, don't worry about it. We'll leave it like that. We'll leave it like that. We will sell that pugnium. May as well just do it over here. Not pugnium, silver. No, I've already checked that one. Silver, silver. I'm gonna hang on to all of those uh, recharging things now. Oops, don't have the Atlas Pass yet. All right, we're warping somewhere new. Two more suit slots is the goal. Uh, I'm not sure which we're gonna grab. Uh, probably two more tech slots. We have the money for that. We have the money for cargo slots now, uh, but two more suit slots. Oh yeah, we gotta kill a pirate. I forgot about that. There he is. There we go. Threat eliminated. Okay. Let's find somewhere new to go. Yeah, yeah, give us the mission complete. Wow. Yeah, we've been to two stars in this neck of the woods. I don't know if we came out of here. No, we must have come out of here in uh, Tethem, which is a three-star economy. So that's probably the only one we've ever discovered. Can't warp there. Oh, was that three-star? No, no, no. Lots of uh, colored stars in the neighborhood. Oh, uh, three-star Corvax. Uh, Pavo Pavointa? Pavointa. We'll hang on to that one. We still would like Viking, just for those extra nanites. That's going to be out of jump range. Okay. That's probably red. No, it's not. Okay. All right. Where's where that where that one? We go Pavinto. Yep, Pavinto. That's where we're headed. Three star economies are where it's at. Best chance for S-Class ships. We have some money to do what I did before and uh, maybe see some S-Class ships come in. We have enough money to buy an S-Class exotic ship if one drops it into our laps, which would be great because uh, they're S-Class already, so you don't have to spend any nanites to upgrade their class, and then you can get them up to 48 slots. They do start with a, a small amount of slots, but we have two storage operations already. All right, we're somewhere new. What do we got going on? Uh, frosty planet. How many planets in the system? Four. Eh, all right. Whoops. Sorry, planet. Didn't mean to shoot ya. Oh, that's an interesting color space station. Let's get the suit slot. I mean, it's not too interesting. I just haven't seen too many white space stations. And hey, uh, I just noticed it looks like they did fix those weird lines that were being drawn on the outside of space stations. I think that was some sort of shading texture that wasn't coming across properly, but uh, I haven't seen it recently. So we'll keep an eye out for that. That's a good fix. Although some of those striped space stations looked, I want to say funny, but cool and funny like not not terrible not terrible but they did make me laugh like one looked like a beetlejuice uh, sandworm and i thought that was hilarious all right pirates handed it in you're a totally new guy we've never talked to you before so you should have four fresh missions for us what you got what you got sir a lot of words i don't understand so we're gonna have to learn some corvax words more pirates to kill that's good. 10 creatures for neural ducks. Yeah, we got 15 creatures for nanites, so we'll take both of those. Uh, neural ducks and stuff, they're worth money. They're worth way more money than any of these missions is going to give you for money. Uh, actually, that's not true. Look down here, 400,000. I might not get 400,000 for three neural ducks. It might only be 200,000 or something like that. But up here, for these missions that don't require eight 
Uh, you're only getting like a hundred thousand. I would avoid. There's a couch. Yeah, couch is over there. So no nanites, no travelers. I am keeping an eye out now because I don't really want to spend my nanites on uh, graves just yet. But apparently they're going to stick around these days. They fix travelers so they don't disappear on you. So if you find one in a space station, he'll be there pretty much forever until you get till you get around to using them up. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, lots of data. And even if it's nav data, that's okay. We're going to use that for calling in our ships. <laughs> Once we have more than one ship. Let's see if we've got anything interesting for us besides a couple more cubes to look at. This is a tier 3 economy, so it should have good amounts of stuff for decent prices, and usually it's stuff you want. Pyrite's great. Phosphorus is great. Residual goop is no. No goop. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can look at, even though we just spent all of our nanites, we can see what the system's got. We can see what the tool is. Could be S-Class. It's always worth checking the cabinet. It is not. All right. Whoa, camera. Calm down. That's not nanites. That guy doesn't have nanites. And the suit slot, the thing we came in for in the first place. We get last. <laughs> 350,000. Okay, not that bad. Now we gotta head to. Ooh, I like that. B class, though. Oh. If that wasn't a green tipped nose, that'd be really nice. Gotta head to the anomaly. Pick up the suit slot there. Yeah, I know, I picked up a pirate mission. I guess we'll kill him on the way to the anomaly. Oh, in the middle of a fleet, eh? Alright. Are they gonna help me out? Or are they gonna think I'm a pirate for attacking him? Oh, well, no free slots. Okay, well, I guess I didn't need to pick up his stuff then. He didn't even take a single shot at me. Ah, there we go. All right. That was like 90 nanites, but we gotta hand it in. We can wait on that one, it's only 90 nanites. Now that we have all of the modules that we really wanted to get, we're not too plus for uh, rushing on nanites anymore, which is great. Well, not until uh, we want to find a ship we want to upgrade and we're gonna need to buy uh, upgrades for the weapons and shields for the ship. Uh, I don't know about pulse. I mean, pulse drive module. Yeah, that's maneuverability. We definitely want that. Uh, I just don't know about light years anymore. I've seen people really get uh, really cool light year modules, like for 280 light years on one module with the new uh, random X class module. But uh, I don't know about warping with my ship anymore. I've got so many travelers to get glyphs with and I can just talk to Ar do the Artemis missions to get that and uh, once you do you've got portals and you can just go anywhere and you're there you can just warp from there so yeah I'm not going to be too plussed on hyperdrive modules although a hundred light years is not enough we do need to go further than that in a single warp all right so we got our suit slot I said I, we could check the missions here, but let's not bother with that. Let's see what else is out there, because we need a freighter battle. So, before we do, because it has been a few warps, I have been playing this save for several hours. Uh, the game says it's over eight hours old now, but that is not true. I haven't played for that many more hours than you guys have seen on this save, so I don't know where I'm getting that extra playtime from. I don't know if it adds a minimum amount of playtime when you log on to uh, create a new autosave and reload to make sure you get your daily missions for the Nexus. Uh, I don't know if it's adding 15 minutes every time I do that, even though it only takes like two seconds to log in, make a save, and log out. I don't know what's going on there. It's a little bit weird. But we're going to make an autosave right here just in case we do get a freighter battle on our next warp. And 
before we do that warp, we are going to look around and see what we got in this system. Okay, so we got a frost planet. Oh, oh, calm down, ship. There we go. We have an overgrown aggressive sentinel planet because of course we do. There's something else somewhere around here hiding in the rings. Oh, there it is. I see it. Ooh, yeah. It's a big one. Or it's a moon that's close by. Rocky planet activated copper. So that's a extreme desert. There should be one other. There it is. Oh, what do we got there? I don't recognize it from space. Or that's a lot of clouds, at least. Marshy. Okay, so that's another... Uh... Yeah, yeah. Let's go land on that one. Let's see what the grass looks like there. Whee! Okay. Light side. Hopefully it's not storming. Ah, uh, South Stan. Yeah, and I'm pretty far away from the planet, so we're going to have to do one more fight before we get there. Now, I don't have a combat scanner, so I didn't check the threat level of this system before I got here, but apparently it's high enough to be annoying. Alright, what do you got? How many? Mm, two. If it was, they both died at the same time. Yeah, they're gone. So, that was that. Milestone for pirates. I mean, that's what I just did. Yeah, 50 starships destroyed. That's a lot. That's not bad. How many more to go? It looks like we got three more stars to go on that set of milestones. So milestones are important. You do need a certain number of milestones in order to do the Artemis missions. You can't just rush through the Artemis missions uh, in like two hours. Uh, to get all your glyphs. Ooh, wow, look at the mountains here. They're pretty tall. Those look like cloud-reaching mountains. Steep sides. Ooh, interesting colored sky. Not quite the standard purple sky. Maybe it's just a storm going on. I like how the mountains shift to purple at the top. Should we land in that valley? No. Well, let's uh, actually do that. Uh, does that not scan? Do I not have a con uh, economy scanner? Oh, it's a wrong hockey. Smarty pants. One hour away, that is a pulse jump away. And I, you know, I don't mean to get distracted with basic exploration, but that really is what the game is all about, and it's, it's pretty cool now. Uh, I mean, it's always been cool. Exploring in this game has always been really fun. And I wasn't done doing it before this expansion. Uh, I was still exploring every day. But it's pretty cool now. Uh, the only thing that's changed is I'm also looking for replacements for my bases now. Actually, I'm starting over from scratch, basically. Uh, not all of my bases need to be replaced, but some of them do don't like the planets that they got changed into, so I'm going to move, delete a couple bases, get some base parts back, and start over. Find some new perfect homes. First contact. Alright, well there we go. This one's explored. Don't have much specific to sell here. Probably not much to buy. I can take a quick peek, but yeah, meh. Not much there, I got a little bit of gold to hand in. That is also worth it. Lendmium is also worth less than gold, so refine your stuff down when you're selling if you've got the time and space to do it. Yeah, pretty planet. I mean, I know it's twilight here now, but some of these marsh planets can be fairly pretty. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. Have a good time. <laughs>